Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and this is an Aptasia update. I thought these things were dying off and they were gone, but then I noticed after a few days, they looked like they were regaining their strength and they were coming back. You can see how see-through they are, and they're definitely pissed off, but they are making a comeback. And in the process of trying to get rid of them, I did bleach out my Montes, which I'm not really happy about. Um, considering the fact that the Aptasia all seem to bounce right back. So what I'm gonna do now is order a Burgai Nuda Branch and if that doesn't work, then I'll just get a couple copper bands and throw a couple other things in here, some peppermint shrimps, and just overload the tank with things that eat Aptasia because, and if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna take this rock out because this is live rock. Aptasia does come with live rock. It's one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan and I don't even know if we're going to stock live rock in this store. I haven't even really gave it much consideration if I want to keep that, considering we will be selling the other types of um, aquascapes and the better, the better products in my thing for decorating your reef. So there's that. Um, anyone who's ever tried a Burgai Neuter Branch, let me know in the comments below if it's worked for you, because I hear they are hungry, hungry guys, and they will literally find out every Aptasia in your tank and eat them, so that would be pretty cool, as opposed to the peppermint shrimp that hide under a rock and they honestly never find the Aptasia, unless you have a smaller tank. This is a big tank, so there is a lot of stuff in here. So things go missing all the time, and that can be a problem. That's why smaller tanks are more enjoyable sometimes. It, Unless you're just into the big corals and big tanks, big display pieces. I'm not gonna lie, big tanks are awesome, but, but there's a lot of work involved. So, but they do come with pros and cons, everything pros and cons. But there you guys go, there's that. Um, I also wanted to ask your opinion on something else. When we are doing the floors in the store, we're doing, <clears throat> we've come up with the idea of polished concrete. We were gonna put in floors, because I really like things that look professional, very modern you know, especially in the retail section, but I just thought going with polished concrete would be the best. So that's what we're gonna do. If anyone has any experience or any um, knowledge about maintenance or taking care of those floors, please let us know. I know you have to sweep and mop regularly, but that's with any traffic. So that is expected. Maintenance is always expected. But that's just my ramble for the day. I was supposed to do this yesterday and I've had just a ton going on. There is a lot for me to do in the process of opening a store, especially just getting the permits and, and occupancy and all that stuff. It's just, oh, it's, it's overwhelming. But I figured I'd show you guys through the process. And, and then, yeah. So I'm gonna put a huge fragging station in. I'm gonna make a bar so people can come in we will educate them. We will have bar stools around the sinks and we'll have saws set up so people can see how we do it. It'll be very educationally. Um, we'll even have a TV with a microscope. So that's something I'm working on now. I really like to educate people and things. So we're going to get the town involved with the kids center, with everything else. A lot of the hobbyists become fans at a young age and then grow up later on in life just loving fish tanks. So either they're parents had one or somebody that they saw it it just stuck with them forever so me it started out with guppies and then grew to cichlids and then grew from there to saltwater and just it's been an addicting hobby ever since but all right that's that <laughs> as always guys thanks for watching happy reefing until next time If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.